I'm Brittany Roger, the Digital Specialist for the Maryland SPCA. Hi, and I'm Matthew Malstead, aka That Baltimore Photographer. I helped the Maryland SPCA do pet photos with Santa last year, and now we're going to show you some tips so you can get the best photos of your pets while raising awareness and getting steps for the virtual festival of the animals. We are so excited to show you how to photograph the best pictures of your pet using Puck. There are several types of pictures that we like to take of our pets. Portraits, which is from the shoulders up, full body shots, and wide shots that include the environment. We also like to be spontaneous to capture the animal's personality. That can include action shots, close-up shots, or shots with toys. We always opt for using natural light in our pictures. That can mean taking pictures outside or by a window so that we get a catch light in the eye, which makes the eyes sparkle in the picture. One of the most beautiful times to take pictures is sunset. We call that the golden hour, but we have to make sure we take care of our shadows. We don't want to cast a big silhouette on our poochie. We all want the same thing. We all want them to be safe. We all want them to be nourished and free from hunger. We all want to reduce their pain, make them healthy. VCA is proud to partner with shelters across the country. Working together, we're building bridges, connecting shelters within the community, because in the end, we all want the same thing. My first tip would be having a partner, especially for uh, younger dogs or ones that really aren't trained with a uh, sit or stay command, having a partner to uh, keep them from coming at you or going away from you is very useful. Now, our assistant here, Puck, is actually kind of the ideal candidate. He's nice and easy for us. But if you have a, a high energy dog or a young dog that doesn't have uh, training yet, Leave some room in front of them when you're framing the shot. Uh, it just gives a nice sense of motion and it also just makes it easier for you to focus on them. Another tip I have is getting low so that you're down uh, with your pet on eye level. And uh, once you can make that eye contact, it really gives uh, another level of kind of intimacy towards the photo. As for the lighting, you want to kind of, you want to try to keep the light in front of your subject. Um, the only time you really want to have a bat lick subject or have the uh, light behind them is when you're trying to do a silhouette shot. Another trick to getting really good photos is focusing on the eye. If you get sharp eyes, it really takes the portrait to another level. Now, most of these tips are things that go across any type of camera you're using, whether you have a DSLR, a cell phone. But one thing I like about cell phones is how compact they are. You can get nice little sneaky photos where they're not paying attention to you. Another thing that can be fun to do and makes for some good photos is just doing little detail shots. Like say the, uh, the pads on their paws on the underside of the foot or a nice little close up of their muzzle or just straight across shot on their eyes. Just tight little things like that can be really cute. We have great news. We just found out that Puck is adopted and he's going home.
Submit your steps at festivalfortheanimals.org. Take a step, support a pet. Take a step, support a pet.